hello everyone so in this presentation we are going to examine the effect of forging on green flow and look at the parameters that affect it on our course project due to the forging process the metals and the underlying grains will plastically deform in the path of least resistance the metal will flow in the direction and manner that requires the least amount of work this principle is fundamental during this deformation the forging process will impact some grain flow into the metal and the grains the primary forging parameters that affect grain flow are shape of the forging forging process design of the preform size of the billet behavior of the metal process conditions so i request my teammates to explain this Thank you, Devansh. As you can see, Figure One shows an example of grain flow in an forging. In this example, there is a rib region in the upper part of the pictures. During forging, the deformation dynamics are such that the metal flows up to fill the fill this region. Note how the grain flow changes within the rib. The grain flow will generally match the counters of the forging dial since the metal will flow around corners and red eye please note that it is the metal flow during the forging processes that produces the resulting grain flow not the dye features the same dye can create different grain flow depending on the starting shape of the billet and the plastic flow that occurs during forging thanks everyone and next part will be carried out by other team members thank you ranjit now next is forge processing processes many forged parts can be produced by more than one type of forging process in figure 2 through 4 an insulation of how different processes produce forging with a significantly different grain flow is shown this variation is possible in spite of an identical geometry in round depth forged using different processes grain flow can be simulated as shown in this figure using a commercial process model in this case we form various grain flow tracking capability exists to predict grain flow prior to running soft trials optimize grain flow would match the maximum principal stress component in service resulting in the best fetish life thank you now next to akans the billet that arrives in the forge shop has a initial grain flow that is generally longitudinal preform operations are used to change the geometry microstructure and grain flow in each uh, preform operation material flows in the path of least resistance with no influence from future operations the grain flow changes as a result of this metal flow as an example consider a billet that is uh, upset into a pancake shape during preforming this upset will change the initial grain flow which is in the longitudinal or axial direction into some grain flow in the radial direction the preform will now have some initial grain flow going uh, into the preform and finish die cavities the grain flow going into the subsequent forging steps will be different from the grain flow in the initial billet due to the accumulated deformation a second example is the use of cross wedge rolling as a preforming operation there is additional mat material gathered in some regions with elongation in others during this preforming operation there is a reduction that is rolling deformation in some regions of the bar and gathering in others the small diameter regions are generally elongated uh, with the or, with the longitudinal grain flow becoming more pronounced the larger diameter regions where additional metal is being gathered generally have a radial component to the grain flow prior to final forging operations depending on the geometry of the initial bar uh, 
the preform and the final four shape the amount of the grain flow changes in these in these end regions can vary from a very little to a significant amount now over to aditi so now we will discuss about initial billet size to illustrate the influence of initial billet size we can consider an axisymmetric forging of spur gear plank with the gear teeth machine onto the outer diameter for this teeth to be a fatigue resistance as possible we would like to produce a forging with as much radial grain flow as possible thus if a fracture started at the uh, root of the tooth the crack would be propag propagating in the hope of circumferential direction which is perpendicular to the radial direction therefore radial grain flow provides an enhancement of fatigue resistance of this gear the key to increasing the amount of radial grain flow is to upset the initial billet as much as possible so if the initial billet has a small height diameter ratio choosing the initial billet uh, with the larger diameter then the amount of radial grain flow imparted during the initial upset is going to be somewhat limited note the change in the grain flow direction as the upset increase in the figure 4 to illustrate the point there are practical limits to which the upset ratio height by diameter can be pushed if the ratio goes much beyond 2 the potential uh, for buckling of the material is increased in the initial upset nevertheless the size of the initial billet is like the shape of the shape of the perform will affect the final grain growth to is uh, to obtain the forging over to ashlesha thank you aditi so the next one is thank you aditi so the next one is behavior of the material grain flow result from the material deformation or metal flow if the material does not flow evenly then the grain flow may not be in the direction that we may have anticipated geometrical and material defects such as laps or adiabatic shearing will cause the metal flow in in an undirigible fashion the grain flow that results will come from the actual flow that occurs not the flow we might want or might anticipate some of the undirigible flow can be caused by inhomogeneity in the material inhomogeneity such as non uniform temperature or microstructure and non uniform lubrication can after the flow waver from the design in inducted by the forging designer the grain flow in the final forging is produced by the actual metal flow rather than an ideal flow anticipated during the forging design process next over to deblina thank you aslesha so now let's discuss the process conditions obviously the process conditions can have an effect on the material flow behavior and hence on the grain flow imparted during the deformation there are some other process condition that should be considered for example if an automotive spindle is being forced it would be desirable to have the cracking resistance increased across the shaft area where the wheel would be mounted in order to have this enhancement of cracking the grain flow should be in the longitudinal direction of the shaft if the forging process is designed to make an initial upsetting of the billet we will be changing the initial grain flow from the longitudinal to radial and further deformation might enhance the grain flow in this direction instead we might consider not upsetting the initial billet in the normal sense but side striking the billet so that there is a further reduction of the billet diameter in this scenario the initial longitudinal grain flow that is present in the billet is increased and the shaft will be the benefic beneficiary of a even greater amount of longitudinal grain flow 
so with this we can uh, come to an end of our presentation thanks for watching